Hi, I'm Matthew, and uh, I'm one of the vehicle artists at River Games, and I'm here to kind of show off a little bit of the setup for the GE442 uh, and what it's going to look like in the upcoming Arosa route. So yeah, I wanted to kind of show you a little bit of how we bring bring the vehicles uh, from our modeling software in once we've finished texturing them and how we kind of assemble it all and get it um, built and put together for um, setup and uh, simulation in the game engine. So when we, once we've finished uh, kind of modeling and getting all the texturing done, we kind of, we import our models in uh, into UE4 and they come in kind of, they would come in like this without the textures on. Um, and what we will do is we'll then kind of set up the textures and add in all the textures down the side here. Uh, and I can show you kind of what we'll do is we'll, we'll have a, a special material and we'll have all our textures and we'll plug them into this material and we'll set up um, a number of kind of uh, settings and uh, controls for how we want to manipulate this texture. So like this texture has got like um, lights attached to it. So we kind of set up how we're going to control the lights and what we're going to do with that. Um, we also might add in extra details and we have special masks that kind of maybe do things depending on uh, whether there's dirt or weather or how we want to control things. So we have masks for doing that. Um, so we'll set up our materials. Quite often we have it looking like this so that we can kind of just get an idea of what it's looking like with the lighting and how it's going to behave in, in the game. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll kind of plug in all of these materials and these materials will kind of correspond to like the IDs of, of all the different materials that this, this vehicle will have. So if I isolate one of them, like these are the details for all the kind of equipment around the vehicle. If I isolate this one, you won't be able to see anything, but um, this is because these are decals and they kind of like need a surface behind them, but I've isolated the decals. This is some of the detail textures in the previous video we were talking about how we're using slightly higher using higher resolution um, details all around the vehicle so these are for the screws and bolts and finer details that we want we just want a bit more resolution in in the textures so like the grills and the fan here they're quite quite nicely displayed off with these these detail textures so we've got that in there and then we've obviously got a number of glass materials for all the windows that are around the train. This train's got quite a lot of uh, windows. To make sure that the, the rain and, and the, the dirt and all that looks good on these, we've had to separate these into a number of different uh, materials. One of the other things we, we do here is um, we have to separate, to support the livery editor, we have to separate our materials out so that we have um, duplicate materials that kind of work with the livery editor. Um, so that allows the players to kind of build their own textured um, textured versions. So here is where we've separated out what's going to be part of the livery editor and what you guys will be able to control when you're when you're making your own textures. So if I separate uh, isolate this this material here, this kind of shows off one of the areas where you'll be able to control what what uh, what the colors and what what decals and stuff you can put on onto this area of the of the vehicle is you'll also be able to change some of the the colors and and uh, properties of the um some of the detailed uh, uh materials around the train so some of these little bolts and screws and connectors uh, are controlled in the livery editor too that's us bringing in the, the exterior. Um, we'll obviously do the same with the cab. So the cab comes in like this. It's just a, a little small room kind of floating off in space. Um, and we'll go through the same process, setting up all our materials, bringing it in and kind of getting these all kind of looking good in, in the engine. Most of the time is kind of spent tweaking the materials in, in this window and setting up all our properties and what we need to bring in. So yeah, that's that's what we'll do with the cab. And in this case with the GE44, we've also done the same again with the with the engine room. So we've brought in the engine room. We've got all our materials and textures uh, here. And this is kind of what we'll see when we bring it in. It's just, just a small little room floating in, in space. That's our materials. And I kind of wanted to show off a little, some of the other materials we've been making. So with these trains, there's a lot of unique um, kind of plates that go on the side of the vehicle. Um, and I wanted to show off some of the materials that we were kind of making for this. So that's that's one of the designs and there's been a lot of attention put into these so that they're actually embossed and they kind of have some depth to them. This is one of the more simple, simple designs where it's just a flat kind of uh, texture. 
Um, and here's another one. They've all been done really nice, high resolution. You can even see some of the the, the grain and the, the paint and the material behind it in in these in these materials. They've been done really nicely. So what we do once we've brought in all of these, what we'll need to do is assemble them. So we assemble them in a in what we call a blueprint, and this is where the art and the and the simulation starts to kind of come together in with these blueprints. So we'll bring in the the exterior. You can see I've selected the exterior mesh that com comes in in here and then what we'll do is we'll place in the cab and you can see inside here we've got the cab that we've placed in and because we only we normally only model one version of the cab because it's usually exactly the same on the other side we'll make another copy of that flip it around and we bring it in here this allows the the setup artists to, to only have to kind of do the work once so they'll come in and set up all of these controls and stuff like that and then they'll also copy that over to the other side and in this case we've also got the engine room so we've got two engine rooms again this is the front engine room and the back engine room and they've all been combined into to one giant mesh this is also where we start to add in things like lights volumes for controlling the weather also kind of like more components and things for for the for the scripters to be able to control how how you will interact with all of the, these um components so interaction uh components for being able to interact with all the switches and dials and gauges and throttles and stuff like that is done in here so you can you can kind of get an idea of what you'll be able to to manipulate when you when you get into the train then one of the other things we kind of do is we we set up our animations and um in our 3d software and we'll bring them in here and this is where we'll kind of set them up and we can make adjustments to the to the animations in here and um just make sure that they're working correctly for the the scripts to be able to kind of use so th this is one of the animations for the pantograph going up and down we've also got some for the the wing mirrors opening and also your your wiper animations we can pause them at any time and we can kind of scrub through the animations just to kind of make sure that we've we've got them working how we want and if the in case we're we're trying to bug fix or, or kind of see if there's anything wrong with them we can kind of come in here and and make sure that they're working correctly this is the 44 in um in core and this is this is how it's looking in, in in game um you can see one of our shields and our kind of plates on the side of the vehicle this is randomly kind of selected when you put your vehicle down so every time you put it down you'll get a different a different one kind of spawn in uh same with the and these all match the numbers match um, for this vehicle and the li the livery kind of details will also match to the to the name and the, the the number with this in the game now you can see a lot more of the the kind of final detail what this is looking like so we've got we've got our coupling equipment in we've got our hoses um hanging down now because we don't we don't model these these are all generated in the game um and you can you can kind of see some of the paint detail in there and again like like we've been pointing out before your, your detail kind of uh textures um nice highlighting on the on all the the areas where the kind of components weld together and are, are kind of formed to, as one you can see in through the in, through the, into the engine room you can see all the little detailed screws and bolts and stuff that we've kind of put in there so we've got all of that and if we come into the train you can see here we've got nice high resolution textures for the all the kind of foot plates if we come over here you can open this door up and we'll be able to go in there if we look down here we can turn on the engine light engine room light and come in here and we can kind of walk in here and kind of see some of the details that we've put in here and if you come over here and you kind of crouch down you'll be able to see inside here and you can kind of see a little bit of detail in there it's quite nice again these are detailed textures that have been kind of used in the cab i didn't show off these ones but you can see they've been used all around the the vehicle you will have seen in the in the blueprint where we we've got all our interaction things we've kind of set these all up so in the blueprint you'll have seen like all of these are set up to work these have all got their interaction kind of components on them so all of the same buttons that we saw in in the in the blueprint that had an interaction component are ones that you'll be able to interact with it's a lot of really nice details in this cab if we come out here 
be able to see all the equipment kind of connecting these two up and again the coaches have been modeled in a similar style to the to the main vehicle so we've these these kind of all have the same sort of detailed textures and um kind of uh level of um quality put into into the model so that they all kind of seamlessly c come together as one one unit so this has been an overview for the uh setup of the ge44 um, for the Arosa Roots. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you've missed the the first part of this of the series, uh, talking about the the modeling and the texturing, um, please check out ch check it out. The links should be in the description. Um, and if you've liked and enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing.